Want to improve your performance for CrossFit competitions? Watch this. Our next caller is Michael from Maryland. What's up, Michael? How can we help you? Uh, how's it going, guys? Um, so I feel like I'm behind enemy lines right now because my question is about CrossFit. Um, I'm um, an avid CrossFitter, but I do it more for um, the sport and the enjoyment of it. Um, I like to do lo uh, local competitions and listening to you guys, I realize that it's not always the best if your goal is, you know, building strength or aesthetics. And I've been trying to implement some of that with um, resistance training, but I find myself like when I focus just on resistance training, I usually uh, end up lacking in, in power. I'll get stronger, but my overall power output will be lower. Um, I also have like um, FOMO, like I'll see a workout, really want to do it. And then, um, that'll kind of accumulate. Um, so I'm trying to find like a good way to, uh, blend the two. And so my question to you guys is if you guys had a client come in and want to do, um, training, but for the purposes of getting better at the sport of CrossFit, how would you guys do it? I would send them to another trainer. No, I'm just kidding. With you. <laughs> I feel like we need counseling. <laughs> uh, how, how did you get through? This is weird. No, okay. So here's the deal. You want to get better at CrossFit? You know what you got to do more of? CrossFit. CrossFit. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a very specific type of sport. Now, you want to increase power? I would practice Olympic lifting. I would train and practice Olympic lifting. And depending on how much CrossFit you do, that'll determine how much Olympic lifting specific type training you can do. You could always try plyos and explosive movements. But I would focus on the Olympic lifts because that's usually where you need to express the power in CrossFit competitions is, is those types of lifts. So really nothing's going to get you better at, at competing at CrossFit like CrossFit. The only thing I would add that would benefit your ability to compete in CrossFit would be mobility work. Mm -hmm. I, I would be you know correctional exercise 100%. and mobility work. That would be like the majority of what I would recommend. Uh, and, and actually we were talking with CrossFit gyms about you know incorporating MAPS Prime uh, you know, beforehand, before doing even any of the wads that they had scheduled out. And I think it would be very beneficial to, um, you know, incorporate that. But, you know, for the most part, like what, what you're describing, if you really focus on this as a sport, which I, I actually appreciate the fact that you recognize that, um, and that's your mentality towards it. You got to you gotta benefit your body and, and build your body and train your body for the sport. So it's it's different than these workouts that you're doing uh, CrossFit-wise in, in the gym with everybody. So to slow down and really, you know, take those rest periods and, and allow your body to, uh, you know, really generate more force and really focus on that specifically uh, and, then mo and then add all these mobility movements in there to, to benefit your joints while you're putting this extreme stress on your joints is going to be be paramount i mean this is i'm glad we, we got a question like this it's been a minute since we've done a, a crossfit question and i feel like we always have to start this uh, this anytime we have a question related to crossfit we have to start with this we're not against crossfit like if i have a client who's young and healthy and they they like to crossfit train they love to crossfit train then i'm so for it and if they came to me as as a, a client and said adam i want to get better at it then i'm going to encourage them to do more crossfit to get better at it but what ends up happening and i and mike you do sound a little bit like this where my client isn't sure exactly what they want they say like oh i love doing crossfit but i want to be strong and i want to be ripped and i want to jump higher and they have they have all these other specific goals yet and yet then they also like crossfit and it's they are they are not one in themselves. It's like CrossFit is a sport in itself. And so if you really love that, let's fucking get good at it. And let's focus on being good at it and do things like mobility to complement it, focus on eating correctly and recovering and practicing the different wads and it, let's let's get good at that stuff. But if you come to me and you're like, Oh, my number one concern is like, you know, I'm losing my strength or I'm not strong or I want to look a certain way, then I'm gonna challenge the way that we're going at it. So I think the answer to this is, is within yourself. I think you know what, better than anybody, or you should know better than anybody, what you should do here. And you, you, but you first have to decide what is it that you really want from all this. I think we we get caught up in this idea that you we love CrossFit, but then we're doing all these things that don't don't necessarily benefit it the most. So, do you said power. Where specifically do you want more power? So like, I find myself like in. Um, like the Metcons, if it's like a bunch of power cleans for time, it'll be something that's like maybe 
fifty percent of my one rep max, but I just can't seem to cycle it. Mm, um, I'll okay. get winded pretty quickly. That's not power you're talking about, then. That's yeah, that's strength yeah, stamina. Right. Yeah. So it, it, you're you're build you're, up your work capacity. Yeah, that's work capacity. You're just gonna have to practice doing that. Yeah, more CrossFit. Yeah. I mean, and if you wanted better power, I would like point you in the direction of someone like Sonny Webster's programming, which is around Olympic lifts. And go follow his programming because it's incredible if you want to get incredible power yeah. and get good at the specific Olympic lifts. But what you're explaining is CrossFit programming. Can I do a complex movement a bunch of times over and over and over and over and I'm not very good at it? Yeah. Well, the best thing that's going to make you good at it is doing well, more of First of all, you got to be very proficient in that movement so that way it doesn't feel like your body's wasting energy doing it right so as you go through that and you're cycling that um you know being being the best at the technique wise and being able to master that is going to help you tremendously but then you Good have point. to then you have to really get through all those reps and just keep cycling it through those types of workouts to build the endurance so it's kind of like you know a combination of the both yeah you know justin makes a good point um if it's if if i, I would do an olympic lifting course where you're really perfecting the technique. Yeah, Sonny Webster stuff. Because better technique is going to make you waste less energy. And then do the more do the CrossFit workouts for the stamina aspect of it. That, that's a great that's a great uh, way to go. There you go. The only okay. thing I caution about that is the the volume of training these. I, I know. You know, I don't scale mean, back. On I don't something. mean we're not going. Yeah, we're not going to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> I don't mean work out cross. Uh, yeah. you know, Olympic lifting. But if that's good for you or not, practice it's a sport. it. Like yeah, the technique yeah. and the skill, right? Because it's so technical. Uh, I actually did something like similar to that um, for the last couple of years where like, um, two days a week, one day I'd focus just on the snatch and then one day a week I would focus just on the clean and jerk. Mm -hmm. And then I would do a couple Metcons throughout the week. Mm -hmm. How'd you feel? Um, I felt pretty good. Um, but then I, I also thought I was spending too much time focusing on uh, the Olympic lifts to where like, I didn't feel like I was progressing with the performance side of on um, crossfit as a sport and that's why i like yeah. scaled that back hmm. you know what the challenge is with the crossfit as a sport is there's so much in it that if you do more specific training for one aspect mm -hmm. you're probably going to see something else uh that's why they, that's down. why the greats in the sport you ever see how they train Rich Froning and stuff. I mean, they're training three times a day. Yeah. Well, just I doing, mean, if you could, if, if your body can handle. Well, that, I know. Right? Yeah. Well, let's. We're, we're not having a conversation well, it's just around about handling stress. Listen, well. exactly. We're not having a conversation right now about what is the best way of training for being healthy in shape or power or strength. We're talking to somebody who wants to be good at CrossFit. You want to be good at CrossFit? Do more of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, that's, I expect the unexpected almost. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, that it's just like if someone came to me and said they want to be good at basketball. And what can they do? Well, you know, we play basketball more. Yep, that is yep. the best thing. Yes, there's some things we can do within our weight training and stuff like that. To but it ain't going to be as good as playing basketball. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Michael, do you have uh, Maps Prime Pro? Because I think there'll be some good mobility stuff in there for you. Um, no, I don't. All right, we'll send that over to you. Okay. All right. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for calling in. Thanks, guys, so much. Yeah, uh, I really luck, appreciate buddy. it. No, Thanks, you Brian. got it, brother. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's one of those like I want everything. You know, questions. It's also one of those things where I, I, I just, this is the part I think that I get, you know, riled up about CrossFit stuff or CrossFit people is they've drank the Kool-Aid so much that they, they think it's what they want. And it's like, but everything they're saying is not yeah. that. It's mm -hmm. like, you, you know, they start off with like, I love CrossFit and I want to get good at CrossFit. They're like, but then I really want to work on my abs. And then I really want, you know, yeah. I want to get better at this movement and I really want, and it's like. Okay, well then it's that, the next shiny thing, it, all always, and yeah. that, that's what that's what drives me crazy. Because like if if you were to identify something like very specific, like he had mentioned, uh, with uh, you know doing that lift and doing it in cycles, like you got to focus hyper focus on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now it's like you're taking all your focus away from the you know tens of hundreds of other lifts that they just randomly throw in there. So yep. it's it's hard to really prescribe other than to say like they've created wads. You need to keep running through those wads as best you can if you want to get good at just them. yeah yeah, yeah. And, and you know what replace you did you you did this earlier replace the word crossfit with any other sport i want to get really good at soccer but i want to have big lats yeah. or i want to get really good at basketball but want to be i want to be 4% body fat like yeah. okay there's going to be some give give and take that's here that's right but if you really want to get good at basketball forget the other stuff and just get good at basketball and, and that's why i feel like the the answer for a lot of these people that are that fall in a category like this is it has more to do with you digging inside and really asking yourself what is it that you truly want 
and and to, to get away from all the Kool Aid you drink because they've been they've been sold on this idea that it's so amazing and it's like listen and I'm not against it if I got a client who's healthy and shape they love doing CrossFit every week I'm not going to discourage them from doing that mm -hmm. especially if they enjoy it but if you come to me as a professional and say Adam I'm looking for X Y and Z. In, and if X, Y, and Z, if I don't think that doing CrossFit is the best way or you want to know the best way to get to X, Y, or Z, I'm going to tell you that. And CrossFit is not that. CrossFit is great at getting good at CrossFit. Yeah. And if you love doing it and it keeps you in shape and healthy and mobile and strong and powerful, and fucking on. do it. Right. Do it yeah. and stay doing it. And I'm all for it. But... Don't come to me and say you got these different these all these specific goals, and then you're like, oh, but I also want to want to do CrossFit. It's like, well, okay, well, that's fine, and you can get good at it, but you're probably going to sacrifice a little bit some of these things that you want, or totally. or understand that's not the best way to get there. Totally. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here, and be sure to subscribe.